One I've chosen is Spencer Oliver against Patrick Mullins for the Southern Area Super Bantamweight Championship. It was in February in Chesant, a great atmosphere ringside with uh, Spencer, the Omen Oliver's fans. Patrick Mullins, a big danger though, two unbeaten fighters coming together. Both have gone on to have great years. Spencer has won the European Super Bantamweight Championship and uh, Patrick Mullins has won the WBC International title. But this is one they were both unbeaten and everything to go for. Well, this could be a cracking contest between the much-hyped Spencer Oliver in the white trunks, who calls himself the Omen, and Patrick Mullings from Harrow, who is also unbeaten. These two have sold an awful lot of tickets for tonight's show, particularly Oliver, whose PR people were throwing out red hats with the Omen written on them before the start of the fight here. Oliver, the Commonwealth Games silver medalist in 1994, Mullins, a former ABA bantamweight champion. Two prospects meeting in a crossroads fight. The singing is for Oliver. Mullins has had a quieter kind of build-up. He's a southpaw, decent movement and southpaw jab, less height than Spencer Oliver, who comes from Barnet, not very far at all from here. Oliver, remember, in the white trunks. This could be good, then. Well, certainly on paper, it has the makings of a very good fight. Now, and, and they normally are when you get two unbeaten young prospects coming together. I think you're, you know, they're both so keen to win. It means so much to each of them. You're guaranteed a good fight. Oliver has nine out of nine wins, Mullins has ten out of ten. But the bigger stoppage percentage so far for Oliver, who got him with a very good right hand there. And again, then a left as well. Mullins, under the sort of pressure he hasn't had to face so far in his career. So far they've usually just put him in with journeymen, the kind of capable fighters who uh, put up a show but are usually beaten. Oliver really means business. Managed by Jess Harding. Well, Mullins has thrown some fast punches, but certainly Oliver has got through with the, the more substantial punches. Oliver looking busy and workmanlike in this opening round. Got through with some decent shots. And Mullins on the back foot, trying to counter. The great hand goes through again. Then the body shots. Oh, that's a great right uppercut, though, as they worked in close from Mullins. Easily his most eye-catching punch so far. That was a reminder to Oliver not to take too many liberties on the way in. Yes, and that was stylish, classy work there from both boxes, but I think who just come out the stronger of it was Mullins with a good, classy right uppercut. Well, I think this has been Oliver's opening round. Third round. Both unbeaten, as we've been saying, though Oliver has been on the floor once against the Scottish bantamweight, Sean Anderson, just over a year ago. But he got up to win that in the third round. This is the Southern Area Super Bantamweight Championship they're fighting for, the eight-stone, ten-pound division. The British Championship at the moment is vacant, soon to be contested by the excellent Michael Brody and the Welsh Neil Swain. Richie Winton, no longer the champion. Again, the flashy counters from Mullings, but the heavier-looking punches from Oliver. The pattern is set, isn't it? Yes, it is, just looking as if Oliver's just a heavier puncher of the two, but certainly Mullins coming back with some very good-looking combinations, and this really is a, a very good matchup. Which of these two fine young fighters will prove to be the better? Left hand, 
doesn't seem to trouble Mullins there. Straight right through the middle as well. He's under heavy pressure, Mullins. And at the moment, no counters, just covering. Well, Oliver is looking the business here so far. He's looking really, really good. He's got a good style, rolls into his punches nice. Very busy, very exciting. But Mullins showing he's got a few skills himself and he's coming back to contest this round very well indeed. Mullings has proved that he's got a good chin already. Good punch resistance. He's taken these punches and he's come back with blows of his own. But he's really got a good variety about him. Big straight right through the middle. Hooks to the body as well. Mullings is under severe pressure. Richie Davis, the referee, takes a closer look. Mullings at last gets himself out of the trap. But Mullings in danger of just leaving himself on the ropes just a little bit too long. I don't think he was really badly hurt there, but he's standing on the ropes, taking too many punches, and the referee was having a good close look there. Some really impressive attacks from Spencer Oliver. He's got a good repertoire. Mullins isn't out of this just yet, but that's Oliver's round yet again. Well, I think this fight is, is really living up to every expectation. It looked at a great fight on paper between two young, unbeaten fighters. He's only 21 as well, this Spencer he's, Oliver. He's very young. He certainly looks as if he has a, a very good future. Look, he's gritting his teeth. They're really looking for the shots. He's not just flaying away in there. He's looking for the openings. He's picking them from body to head, putting punches up the middle. Look at that good body punches. You see Mullins try to come there with the uppercut. Oliver just slipped out of the way. And then starts to plant them again in the body and really working Mullins over at this point. Great atmosphere as well for this contest, which is only giving it a more exciting feel. The white trunks of Oliver, who's been on the attack so far, but Mullins has got fast hands and flashy skills, and he's proved himself to have a decent chin. He doesn't believe that his resistance has been cracked yet. There's more for Oliver to do. Spencer Oliver, who used to spar in his front room with his brother Danny before they went off to the gym together. Young fighter who grew up with a boyhood hero of Marvin Hagler, and you can't get uh, much more of a hero than that to model yourself on. Nice little counters from Mullins to remind Oliver he's still there. Can Mullins claw his way back? Might there just be a little bit of a danger maybe for Oliver that he gets punched out, that he starts to fade a little? No sign of it so far. He's obviously really in absolutely tip-top condition for this. They both are, obviously, but... Um, We've been saying they're both young fighters. Glenn Mullins is, in fact, 26. Yes, he's 26. You'd expect him to be the, the stronger and more mature of the two, but certainly he's looking very strong, Spencer Oliver. But there's still a, a ways to go yet, and Oliver's never been beyond six rounds. This is good stuff now for Mullins. His best little spell for a while, but look at Oliver's answer to it. Well, it's a cracker, isn't it? Superb work, particularly with the uppercut by Oliver. But then Mullings produces something of the same. And then you see work like this from much more accomplished and experienced fighters. This is very good work for someone so young. Two men who both want this victory so very badly. He's got a good array of shots, isn't he, Oliver? 
He mixes them well, but Mullins, you know, I think you know, he's a very classy fighter himself. He can mix them up, he can change them around. He's really testing Oliver as much as he can in there. Got a nice loose kind of rhythm about him as well, Mullins. Almost like an American fighter in style, isn't he? More than your sort of stand-up British type. Yes, and what I like about these two young men is they, they're prepared to stand. There's not a lot of holding. They're looking for clean shots all the time. An excellent contest. 